Hello friends. Today I want to discuss about some of the important things in Java string class. So string is a one of the very important class in Java, and uh, there are so many reasons about it. First of all, it's the only class where objects can be created by two ways. First is that we can use this uh, new operator to create a string object, and then we can use this double quotes to create a string object. The objects that we are, that are created using double quotes are also called string literal. So string objects are immutable. What it means that once a string object is created, we cannot change the value of it. It's a very important point. Why? Because it gives us so many benefits, such as we can't have a string pool if a string is not immutable. Because it is immutable. Different uh, string uh, references can point to a single object, a string object. Then it gives us so many security benefits because, uh, let's say we have a string s and it is pointing to the pass password of a database or the username of a database. So any hacker can't go and change its value in the memory, and that will you know give us more security benefit. Then again, since it's immutable. It can be used easily in multi-threading benefit without worrying about the synchronization or multi-threading issues. Also, when we create a string, its hash code value is cached, so that makes it a very good choice for map keys. That's why it's used a lot as in hash map keys. So the next is a string pool. So a string pool is an area in heap memory, and when we create a string using double quotes. It goes into the string pool. If you use the new operator, then it's created into the heap memory, just like any normal object. So this, I have this image here. So when I say string s1 is equal to double quotes cat, it it creates a string in the string pool, and you can see that the value is cat. Now when I say string s2 is equal to cat. It checks in the string pool and find that okay, there is already a string there with the value cat, so it just returns the reference. Now, when I create, I am creating S3 with new operator. This object is created in the heap memory. That's why when I say S1 equal equal S2, it will be true. Why? Because the references and value both are same. Whereas in S1 equal equal S3, S3 will become false. So basically, I don't see any uses of you know creating a string using new operator. You should always just use the double quotes to create a new string. Again, a string is a final class, so sometimes we need to you know concatenate or append uh, data to a string. So that's why we have two classes: a string buffer and a string builder. So a string buffer is synchronized. So what it means that we can use it in the thread safe uh, way. In multi-threading environment, we should use a string buffer for a string concatenation or changing its values. From Java 1.5, a string builder was introduced. Why? Because most of the times we are not in multi-threading environment, and we don't want overloading of over those synchronization. So that's why a string builder is non-synchronized. And if we are um, in a single-threaded environment, you can use a string builder. Yeah, so a string. When we say a string s is equal to a b c, in the backend, it's basically creates a character array where we have three characters a b c, and it gives us the string representation. So, if you want to use that character array, there is a method to char array that we can use to get the character array, and then there are so many other useful methods. Like index of through which we can get the index of any particular uh, character. We can use the length method to get the length of the string. A split is again one very important method through which we can split the string based on a regex. It can be used like to get the values from a CSV file and all. Sub string is used to uh, use the part of the string by passing the start and end in index. And get the string, two upper case and two lower case. These methods are useful in comparing where we don't want to uh, compare with case sensitivity. 
and then value of value of is again a important method why because sometimes uh, you need to create a string where the value is like integer 5 or boolean true so using this value of method we can create that i would suggest you to go and uh, look at the documentation of a string class you will see that this value of uh, method is also overloaded like you can pass different different kind of um, data types next is since a string is immutable we can always use equals method to check if his two strings are equal we should avoid uh, using double equ equals to you know check the values of two string whether they are equal or not and yeah a string is a special class and the only one class where this plus operator is, can be used to concatenate two strings and finally this string intern method so like i said before that we can create a string using new operator also but what if we want to you know move it to the string pool and free the space that we are unnecessarily uh, using in the heap space then this string method intern method can be used it's a native method which actually uh, return the string which is having the same value and but make sure that it is from the string pool so i have made a video about it in uh, like earlier uh, sometime back so you can go and check it out the link will be in the description also yeah that's all for this uh, video so thank you so much for watching it make sure you can follow me on um, these twitter youtube facebook and google plus profiles and contact me directly for any questions you have thank you bye bye